हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक टू बंक स्टडी पॉइंट आवर नेक्स्ट वीडियो इज अबाउट स्विच दैट इज अ ब्रांचिंग स्टेटमेंट सो बिफोर डिस्कसिंग दैट लेट्स कम टू आवर क्वेश्चन दैट वी गेव यू एट द एंड ऑफ द लास्ट वीडियो द क्वेश्चन वॉज राइट अ प्रोग्राम टू इनपुट मार्क्स फ्रॉम यूजर एंड प्रिंट द ग्रेड ऑप्टेन बाय हिम अकॉर्डिंग टू टेबल गिवन बिलो एज अ रेफरेंस सो यूजिंग द इफ एल्स स्टेटमेंट इन अन एफ स्टेट फॉर we get the following program here we only need one integer that is a see out enter marks and we are getting the value of the percentage the user enters so first is if a is greater than 90 and a is less than equal to 100 the grade will be a so here and connective as discussed in the previous video make sure that the both conditions that are used with it are fulfilled that is they return the value true only then the following action will occur and in the else part of this if we get another if else block in which we compare a in the range of 80 and 90 so the tree is go tree goes on and at the last we have if a is greater than 50 or a is less than equal to 60 then the e grade else there is nothing left to compare that is directly f grade so point here to notice that we have used only greater than sign on the left condition that is we are not uh, including the lower limit value but we are including the higher limit value that is where we have used less than or equal to okay so let's compile this program so first is enter marks let's suppose we enter 66 the program gets the output d grade so coming to today's topic that is switch A switch statement allows a variable to be tested for equality against a list of values. That is, a switch case is like an alternative for nested if-else when the value set is very high or very complex. So, switch statement gives a simpler, understandable format of the code. The okay, syntax is as follows: switch, then parenthesis inside parenthesis a variable or an expression which evaluates to a single value then followed by two curly braces that encloses the body of switch a case that is a keyword followed by a constant value that is the value that is above calculated by the expression or the value of the variable received will be compared to these constants and whosoever matches the value that case will be executed then we have a colon and after the colon we can write our code or statements that needs to be followed when a particular constant is encountered then there is a break statement a break statement marks the end of a case if there is no break statement present the control will simply fall into the next case that is it will sequentially execute all the statements until it gets a break statement and it will then come out of the switch clause at the last we have a default default is also a keyword uh, whenever the case arise when no constant value is equivalent to the expression or variable received then a default statement will be executed rules of using a switch statement are as follows the expression used in a switch statement must have an integral or character or enumerated type that is it should not be a float or double it can be only a single value character or a single integer either by solving an expression or directly using the variable second you can have any number of case statement within a switch each case is followed by a value to be compared and a colon third rule is when the variable being switched on is equal to a case the statement following the case will execute until a break statement is reached when a break statement is reached the switch terminates and the flow of control jumps out of the switch to the next line following the switch statement okay not every case needs to contain a break there may be some cases where where we have constraints about if a value is encountered a following set is executed and at another value a subset of the previous function is to be done so there we can skip the use of break to make a make the our code compact a switch statement can have an optional default case which must appear at the end of the switch 
the default case can be used for performing task when none of the cases is true the bre a break is not required in a default statement as it is al already the last statement of the switch so as the syntax on the right side we have not used a break in the middle case so if it is encountered the second case is encountered the statements in second case as well as statements in third case will be executed whereas if we encounter third case the statement in the third case only will be executed as a break is following the third case so let's have a practice question with using switch write a program to input choice out of 1 2 and 3 and give answer to details below okay when a user press 1 the sum of first 10 odd numbers will be shown when the user presses 2 sum of first 10 even numbers should be shown and when the user presses 3 sum of the first 20 natural numbers should be shown on the screen the program will sum somewhat look like this int m to contain our checking or our testing value see out sum of first 10 odd number first 10 even number first 10 20 natural number preceded by 1 2 and 3 that are the options then we have a c out for enter choice and then a c in and m then we have our main concern of this video switch inside switch parenthesis we have the value m whatever value m possesses it will be compared against the case values then we have case 1 and a colon then c out 100 that is the sum of first 10 odd numbers and then a break in case 2 we have c out 110 then a break and in, as similarly in case 3 we have c out 210 and a break in the default clause or default case we have a c out wrong choice whenever the user accidentally enters anything other than 1 2 and 3 default will be executed let's run this program one time let's suppose i enter choice 2 then the program outputs 110 for further practice let's take the question we took at the start of this video write a program to input two numbers and ask user which operation of the four arithmetic ones should be performed addition subtraction multiplication and division and print the answer accordingly so in place of nested if else now we have used switch in this statement here also we have a checking variable m two variables a and b for storing the values that needs to be processed and a cout statement for printing the different arithmetic operations and their corresponding choice number then we have switch our main body inside switch parenthesis we have m that will be compared case 1 we have cout a plus b break case 2 cout a minus b break and so on and at the last we have default which contains cout wrong choice so you can compare at the starting of the video this code looks much far much simpler to understand as well as to showcase than the nested ifs used in the first program. We will compile this program once taking the same values for A we take 50 for B we take 25 then choice is fourth that is for division and we have the answer as 2. Coming to the challenge question of this video write a program to input number in the range of 1 to 9 and print in alphabet like if the user enters 1 print o n e 1 and if the user enters 2 print t w o 2 and so on till 9 see you in the next video if you like our video hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more future updates